Good morning. Good morning. I'm getting ready to drop Autumn off at her work. And at her work, they got the official weigh scales because they're always weighing uh, semi trucks, garbage trucks, and all that. So we are filling up the uh, Godzilla. She's a little thirsty this morning, just under a she is. half a tank. So we're going to see how much this thing weighs with the full tank of gas. We took the tailgate off. I'm guessing that's around 70 to 100 pounds. I don't really know what, how much that tailgate weighs. Um, Autumn's going to get out at 11.30. I'm going to pick her up. We're going to hit the road running, and we are going to go pick up our uh, new truck camper. Which we're going to tell you And soon. Uh, we'll get that loaded up, and we're going to haul this thing stock to start. And if it does well, we'll, we'll go from there. If we have to do any add-ons or anything, we'll uh, evaluate it after we get it. So uh, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Come along for the ride. Seven thousand twenty pounds. Truck is empty inside. Tailgate's off, so seven thousand twenty up on the scale. So we're gonna see what it weighs with the uh, camper with uh, not much in it and then maybe we'll do another weight when we get basically maybe topped off with water and full of gear. Josh, what are we doing? We are finally on the road heading after a long we've been looking for a truck camper for a long time and we finally found one that we like and we will show you what we're gonna get and we were planning on leaving at 1 o'clock and it's I got autumn at 11 about 1140 we got rolling I love when you get to leave early I'm an early bird and you know five minutes early is right on time but yes um, even to this day when I'm on a motorcycle trip or anything else it's like first thing in the morning I, I want to hit it I like you know I'm a morning person and so early early is amazing what do you think I'm a morning person too <laughs> the earlier the better but what's really amazing is I got out of work by a certain time so that's good and so autumn has her laptop she's working uh, we've we're gonna be answering a few things from Airbnb customers or looking through our emails through that. I'm not, I'm driving. Um, I was trying to video while driving, you can't do that. But <laughs> and it's raining. It's raining. So that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna go there. We're gonna be there soon. Okay, we uh, suffered a blow. Um, so <laughs> anyways, uh, we have had three cracked windshields on our 2016 F-150. Before that, I don't think our whole 20 years of marriage, we've never had a cracked windshield on one vehicle. Nope. But the F-150 has had three of them, and two different times in two separate years, we <laughs> had a cracked windshield literally going near the St. Louis Arch. For whatever reason, a rock flew off the highway and hit our windshield. You can't script it. What so, are you gonna do? So today we're heading to uh, get our camper, and we heard a crack, and we weren't tail, we weren't, that close to anybody nope. and but there was a semi up in front of us a ways and we had a rock hit the windshield so show them the uh, little looks like a, the star of David okay so this is what happened to the windshield so I guess we're gonna have to uh, let the insurance know we're getting a quick bite to eat then we're gonna head over and look at the new camper camper world Grand Rapids Michigan Okay, I'm setting your destination to Camping World of Grand Rapids. All the truck campers are not over there. We made it to Camping World. All right, Here we, are. we just did orientation, kind of learning the camper a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, surprisingly, we'll, we'll try the generator a little bit, but it was not as loud as what we thought. Nope, I think we may actually, like really it. Liked it. So, so we'll see as time goes. We know the air conditioner is going to be noisy anyways, but most of the time we're not going to be in the camper that much anyways because we're out and about doing adventure roads. So, so let's want to know which camper which do we have. Camper? We are standing under it. We're so let's, let's show you what we ended up getting. Okay, what did we get? Can you see it yet? 
All right. We got the Wolf Creek. That's we're getting the, the Wolf one. Creek H40. We're totally surprised. We were we not were, expecting this. Yeah, we were not expecting this. We thought it was going to be a Lancer Northern Light, but we ended up liking the Wolf Creek. So, so hopefully this serves us well for years to come. We will try to uh, showing it, uh, well, we're gonna show it in use. Gonna, yeah, we're going to show you getting it on the truck. we got to get it loaded soon. up on the truck yep. soon. Here's where we're getting close here. Fast gun tie down, it's kind of like a re hitch system. and we are doing just about 70 miles an hour with the Wolf Creek 840 truck camper in there rated right around 2,000 pounds probably a little bit more with the batteries and propane and all that we are under 2,000 rpm so it doesn't appear we're even working it the motor sounds smooth pretty quiet and uh, actually it's riding pretty well stock pretty impressive we're just on a bumpy road <laughs> yeah we're just on a bumpy highway uh, they didn't fix the darn roads we, uh, we are in Cadillac, Michigan, so we're about 100 miles from Grand Rapids from when we picked it up. Actually, I think it's a little more than that. So yeah, I'd say roughly 100, hour and a half. And we were moving pretty good. We were doing a lot of times 65, even 75 range. Um, you can barely even tell that it, there's a camper on the truck. It was handling it really you well. To remember. Obviously, if there's big potholes or something, you're gonna wanna watch it. Even with your regular vehicle, it might uh, shake a filling but loose. But if you got gold filling, then that'd be good. But um, <laughs> but the Godzilla, I think, is really handling the camper like a champ. Um, not a lot of hills. We've been running, you know, it's fairly flat through here, but some elevation and spots, nothing crazy. But running just under 2,000 RPMs, doing this kind of speed. Um, we're going to weigh this thing uh, maybe tomorrow at Autumn's work. Um, so it's going to be pieced together video, but we're going to weigh this thing, see what it's weighing right now. The tanks are empty. It does have propanes full, has a generator on board, so we're pretty well And do empty. they like our truck? Yes. They, uh, <laughs> they like the truck. They like the truck. Yeah. So, really um, yeah, we we're really happy how it handled. Now the gauge, we drove down empty, no tailgate on the back. Right now we're showing total trip. This is around 200 some miles. Um, we're at like 11.7 miles a gallon, which kind of what we figured. We were figuring we'd be between a nine and 12 miles a gallon. So we got some fans driving by waving. So, hey guys. But um, anyways. <laughs> we uh, just have a guy in a blue but, truck yeah, pointing at it. It was really yeah, funny. Yeah, so it was really cool. Uh, so we'll take a little walk space. around and show you what we got. All right, so we're gonna do a little walk around here. We really like the tie-down system, the torque lift tie-down system, which is frame mounted. We're just giving you a quick overview. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do in some more in-depth. And There's the generator off the back, the green thing there. We ran it while we were there. We actually didn't think it was too bad. We wanted to um, check the AC. We wanted to check the AC and stuff like that. Um, it is a little muggy today. But yeah, that's how she's looking.
We are running ragged. We're 24 hours roughly after we got home with the uh, Wolf Creek 840 and we're gonna do a test night after work a 12 hour shift tomorrow. I'm gonna drop Autumn off at her work, um, but on the way I'm gonna gas this truck up and we're gonna put this thing on the scales and see how much it weighs. Don't have any water in it, but it does have propane and we do have got some clothes, um, hygiene items, um, yeah. some basics. So our first night, we are at all places. We're out here at the ranch. <laughs> and that's probably a good thing because uh, you don't want to do a test run in front of public. You want to make it look smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, not bad. We took the uh, camper off, put it back on, loaded it up while it was off, just kind of getting a run through. We're just going to do a uh, one-nighter. Just here kinda, at the ranch. Here at the ranch, and we're going to do another one-nighter at a uh, state park tomorrow. We're going to get up at 4 tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to get up at 4 tomorrow, and I'm going to drive this thing to work. So maybe I can have my lunch break in the camper. Um, yeah, right. yeah with a gun on me and all that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> um, don't, but uh, don't come robbing this stagecoach. But uh, no, anyways, uh, so yeah, gonna go to work and then uh, we're gonna go camp for a uh, short night in Traverse City uh, by Grand Traverse Bay. This is kind of more city camping, but uh, it's still a nice set of woods and uh, by, by the body of uh, water, Grand Traverse Bay. So it should be a good night. We'll show you uh, the uh, lights here on the camper. We got the generator running. Kind of testing all systems. The refrigerator's running on the propane. Um, tomorrow we're gonna plug everything in because I, I didn't have enough uh, plug to reach around to our 30 amp cord. I could have backed up over there, but it's pretty sandy and I wasn't ready to do that tonight. Here's a little walk around the awnings in, but we'll show that another another time. Lights on in the camper. Lights on, nobody's home. We're getting ready to go to the campground tonight. Um, first we gotta go to work, but I guess we have to get gas. What are we doing? Patiently waiting. 314 a gallon. Um, so yeah, we, uh, we are going to top this thing off with gas, we're going to put it on the scale, see how much this thing weighs. We have uh, a little bit of clothing, uh, some bedding in there now, some pots and pans, uh, a few basics. Um, we have really a ways to go. Yeah, propane's full, we don't have any water in it, um, but still give us a little bit of an idea. Um, and we got both of ourselves so we'll weigh it and see what uh, we have right now from when we weighed it empty nothing in the truck tailgate off before we left so and then get right ahead to work and then we're gonna do our uh, we did our last night we stayed in the driveway I think overall went pretty good and then um, tonight we're gonna stay at the state park and uh, plug in the 30 amp tonight see how that goes 5:27 a.m. we just got gas now we're gonna weigh ourselves Okay, it's not showing up very well on the scale, but it does say 10,760. Any words? I gotta go to work. <laughs> okay. We 
are at East Grand Travers Bay. That is north, south, east, sun setting in the west. And uh, so it's East Grand Travers Bay, which runs out to Lake Michigan. You have the peninsula, which runs up to uh, Old Mission Lighthouse. The uh, big building over there, the one skyscraper is Grand Travers Resort, home of the Jack Nicklaus, the Bear Golf Course. And then uh, that's the peninsula. On the other side of the peninsula is West Grand Traverse Bay. So beautiful, uh, hooked right up into Lake Michigan. This is a Coast Guard town, Traverse City, Michigan. This is site 123. The F-150 is here because Autumn is going to leave here in the morning and go to work. Um, we're going to have breakfast and she's going to work because we're only like five minutes from her work. So it made a nice first night of camping. But the uh, convenience not a bad spot. Right behind the uh, campground here is a uh, trail. They called it the Tart Trail, Trevor's Area Recreation Trail, T-A-R-T. And then right across the road was, of course, the uh, East Grand Traverse Bay, which goes out to Lake Michigan. So, yeah, not a bad spot. 30 amp hookup. I think there's at least two big shower houses in the campground. I'll do a little zoom up and down through here. It's pretty busy in here tonight, but that's good. Family's having a good time. Autumn is right in our list, checking it twice. We want to thank you for um, joining us on Adventure Roads in our truck camper reveal and a visit to Traverse City State Park. So last night we camped at the ranch. We just basically slept in it, kind of get a little adjusted to it. Tonight's our first night at a campground with it, plugged into 30 amp. And uh, anyways, we want to wish you a happy 4th of July weekend and safe adventures wherever you're at. And um, Anything you want to add? Just be looking for our videos coming up. We have some summer giveaway. Summer giveaway. It's we gonna be a surprise video. summer giveaway. We have. Uh, we're both traveling, so you'll be seeing some videos from that too. So just make sure you're on. commenting in whatever videos, because we are just gonna randomly probably pop up and have had some sort of a drawing and off a video, and it's gonna be a uh, good prize. So thanks a lot for watching. Click subscribe, share with your friends, comment below any of your camper travel adventures and maybe what you're doing on 4th of July or what you like to do. So thanks for watching.